Um, but now that I've read this article, how subways work, mm-hmm. I don't understand the New York subway system any more than I did before I read this article. Right. But I can tell you that the rails are made of 35 foot long pieces of carbon steel that are five and a half inches <laughs> tall yeah. and one and a half inches wide. That's right. And you could run any train, any train on the world, yeah. in the world on those rails. Not in the world, but at least in New York. <laughs> Because I guess there's different gauges. But there, it, the New York subway system was designed so that you could just kind of, hey, if you wanted to, like, go to Cleveland yeah, on a subway train, you could. Yeah. That's how it's designed. Yeah, they could put it on just a regular railroad track. Right. And, and go, go to, to Cleveland. Cleveland. And then you get to Cleveland and you go, geez, I want to go back to New York. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about subways. The Metro in France. Yeah. In Paris. Yeah. 547 uh, yards. Every 547 yards, you're going to find a subway station. Yeah. That's pretty good. No, no, no. Not even. There, There's no building in Paris that's more than 547 right. yards from a stop. Boy, I botched that one. No, but it, it really, you help build up the drama. Okay. Yeah. Um, the the tube in London, mind the gap, everyone. Yeah. Um, 275 stations. And uh, our dear, beloved New York subway system. Mm-hmm. 468 as of now. Packed into like 260 square miles? 240, yeah, which is, that's pretty impressive. And that's why the New York subway system looks like a plate of spaghetti. Man, it's really tough to read. It's not just me. It can't just be me. It's not. You just have to zero in on your area, and then you're like, oh, just, you got to blur your eyes and block out everything else. Yeah. And then everyone behind you is looking at you like, tourist. Yeah, exactly. He's got his eyes crossed. And why Why is, does that guy next to him look like Ronnie Millsap all yeah. of a sudden? Because I saw him walk down here just fine. Uh, the London Underground is the oldest. Opened in 1863. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Metro was next in 1900. Mm-hmm. And New York not far behind in 1904. And Tracy, who wrote a very thorough article. This is a Tracy V. Wilson joint. Yeah, you know it's going to be good. Yeah. Um, she points out that this they all kind of happen within pretty dense space of time because the industrial revolution people are out and farming and then they're like screw this i need a decent egg roll yeah i'm gonna move into the city yeah where i can get a job in a factory well yeah and before that there weren't jobs in factories because there weren't factories part of the industrial revolution was the rise of factories that's true everybody threw down their agrarian tools like scythes forget this hoe i'm out of here <laughs> right <laughs> right Clever wordplay. Thank you. <laughs> um, and uh, they moved to the cities. And when they moved to the cities, all of a sudden, there was a lot of people who needed to move about. And they didn't have cars. Partially because cars hadn't been invented yet. That was one reason. But also, even beyond that, like not everybody could afford a horse. But they still needed to get someplace. So, That's a good point. city fathers in these areas, Paris, London, uh, London first. Yeah. And then... Um, because I think it was the birthplace of the Industrial Revolution. And then and then New York um, said, all right, we need to figure out how to move a bunch of these people at once. And what they came up with was mass transit. But it was all above ground mass transit. Yeah. And it involved horses. Remember the Wind Cries Typhoid Mary episode? Oh, yeah. One horse produces 20 pounds of poop per day. Yeah. And New York had like 100,000 horses or something like that walking around. Yeah. You know how much poop a subway train produces? Zero. Yeah, there's probably a couple of guys pooping on the train. Yes, but, but that you would nothing. attribute that to the guy on the train. <laughs> yeah, it's true. not really the subway. Dude. That's true. It is not uh, exhaust, as you as you would call horses poop. <laughs> For more on this and thousands of other topics, visit HowStuffWorks.com. 